Hi there, this is Chris from Money Hub, and this video quickly overviews how the WISE debit card works in practice when you load it up with overseas currency such as euros or pounds or you keep it in New Zealand dollars. So the best way to explain this, uh, while we do have it very clear on the, the guide, it's much easier just to watch a like a workable example. So if I go to my personal history, uh, which is quite exciting, if you want to see what I've been doing the last week as I travel around Europe, uh, what I've done is I've loaded up in the past um, some New Zealand dollar balance plus also some euros. Now what's happened is that I've made a British pound purchases that's been charged in New Zealand dollars and when the New Zealand dollars have run out then it starts to charge the euros and that's just because you know it needs to charge a currency uh, and that's perfectly normal but if I didn't want that to happen and then I'd load up more New more New Zealand dollars or I would also tr uh, translate some into pounds. So what you can see here is that I went out and I spent 110 pounds and that got translated at 213 dollars New Zealand from my balance and if I go into that I can just see the details down below uh, which I'll just quickly get to. So you can see here that it was charged at uh, 110 pounds and that was the exchange rate and then we converted that's what wise converted and then they add on their fee which is their small fee for doing that and that was the total amount which was deducted from my New Zealand dollar balance account nowhere when I pay by card does it prompt me to choose in New Zealand dollars or British pounds that's not relevant it's a good sort of concern that people may have oh am I going to be getting a bad exchange rate never Basically what happens is that you just tap your card, it charges in pounds, as long as there is a currency within your card and it's loaded, then, you, then you'll have no issues whatsoever. So if I just go up further to other transactions, you can see similar here, this was declined. Now the reason was not because there was a lack of money, just because sometimes it asks you for your PIN and if you tap it and it prompts you to do a PIN, that's normal. It just says declined and then you redo it and uh, straight away you can see that the uh, currency went through and you'll be able to see here that you can see what time it was and then you can see you know how it was all paid for what the exchange rate was so throughout the day uh, you know the exchange rate has moved slightly and sometimes that means that you'll pay more or less but it's it's really coming down to cents for well certainly for the type of uh, purchases that I make and then if we go further, you can slowly see here that my British pound, sorry, that my New Zealand dollars run out. And so it starts to charge me in euros. And that's because the balance, you know, there were no more New Zealand dollars to charge. That was the largest balance. But there were some euros I had left over from uh, some time in France uh, the week before. Uh, so basically what it's done here is it's converted my uh, British pounds. It's looked at the exchange rate between euros and pounds. And it's just, and then it's added on 15 euro cents from my balance of euros. So this does sound kind of confusing, but really it's just trying to make purchases. Now I could avoid all this together if I just loaded up some more New Zealand dollars and then there'd be no issue whatsoever because, uh, you know, it would come out. Or I could uh, uh, transfer some into pounds and then it would just be deducting from pounds. So that's really how it works. It's not too complicated. And you can see that I continued to use the euros. I thought, well, you know, I might as well not transfer them back to pounds because I've just, uh, sorry, transfer them back or switch them over to pounds because, you know, I'm only here for a few more days. Then I can just use up the rest of these euros and I don't really care because the purchases are quite small and there hasn't been any devaluation of the euro or like the pound or anything. So I don't need to worry about it. And that's probably the most flexible thing here because if this was in like a, some other travel cards will charge you you know a kind of a penalty fee if you're using a currency or you if you're purchasing it in a, a currency which you don't you know which isn't loaded or there's some other problem here I can take my euro balance and you can see here there's only like a hundred euros left um, and I can go out and I can spend that in any currency and it'll just come through at the exact exchange rate um, so I just wanted to explain that and it's probably quite helpful just to see how the other currencies work so that if you have, you know, left over 300 euros and then you fly into say like the USA or fly back to New Zealand, yes, you can continue to use that, you know, the exchange rates are like market rates 
and the fees charged are very, very small. So there's complete flexibility there, which makes it such an ideal card. The whole time that I'm making these you know, extravagant purchases at like 11 pounds here and uh, some ice cream shop, uh, then, you know, my phone's getting notifications that yes, you know, at 10, 10 o'clock at night, then, you know, you've made this purchase here of, uh, for 11 pounds and that's the exchange rate. And so I, you know, those things continue to pop up. So it's really, really secure. If something happens, I can close the card. I can, you know, I can turn it off and I can also use the digital card, uh, which helps too. So you can see here that I can freeze the card if I lose it and while it's expiring before I leave, so that's fine. And this is quite, um, I mean, that, so I've had this card for about three years, so that's, re that's really, really helpful. And they'll just send me a new one. It's probably waiting back home for me. And it's waiting back home for me in New Zealand now as I, as I write this, or sorry, as I do this video from London. And if you want, if you want the digital card, then that's so useful as well, because you can just connect that to Apple Pay and you can do a whole bunch of stuff in store as well. You can just tap that away. So there's so much flexibility with it, which makes it great. Uh, but really it is the, um, it's, it's certainly the transactions which are really helpful and it's so clear, it's so transparent, it's so immediate. And so there's no downside to not knowing like where your money's gone or what you've been charged. You know at all times. And if, if, if you do want to load things, uh, from New Zealand dollars, then that will load within the banking day of normally two to three hours. Um, if you do a poly payment, you pay a, f a few more cents for it, th then that comes through straight away. Uh, but for me, I just like, okay, I'll just transfer like, you know, some money and it'll hit my WISE account, which is a bank account. And then I can, I can choose to convert that to British pounds or wherever I am, or just leave it in New Zealand dollars and let the market exchange rates work for me because it's like, well, you know, at the end of it all, I can just come back to New Zealand and, and just spend it as New Zealand dollars. So, so much flexibility there, but I just wanted to explain how the purchases work and the fact that you'll never be prompted to do any kind of like dynamic currency conversion, that really shady thing where people show you like, oh, sorry, you're shown like, well, do you want to pay for this in pounds or New Zealand dollars? And there's sort of some really lousy exchange rate not going to happen you just you like you just tap the card and put the pin in or use it as you'd normally use a card and it's giving you the like best exchange rate that you can get every time so really really helpful card i swear by it um and i hope that you know there's a lot of cards out there but of course just make your own decision uh, but for me it's certainly something which i can see the benefits of because of the low fees uh, thanks very much for watching and do let me know if you have any questions